Hi guys, this is Otis Collier, your mentor, and in this video, we're going to be talking about creating your MySpace page, and more importantly, talking about creating your MyStory marketing um, profile. Now, if you've gone through my mentoring training this this week, you'll know that this week we're going to be talking about setting up your MySpace page, and I talk about MyStory marketing. I did not come up with that. I did not create that. I can't take any credit for that, and I will not take credit for that. That was developed by a group called uh, MLM Goldmine, and what I saw was a lot of MLM Goldmine members using this this particular concept, and it works. I mean, it 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 does work, and so I decided to take bits and pieces of this and actually use it in my profile. And um, if you haven't heard, my profile got deleted last night. Um, somebody logged into my back office and for some reason deleted my profile so I'm gonna to have to start over and I wanted to share with you from the beginning how you begin to put your my myspace page together now the first thing I wanted to do is I wanted to share with you one of the guys who is part of MLM Goldmine and his name is Steve and this is Steve's page and the thing that's interesting about Steve's page um, one of the things that people have a hard time with when they begin to talk about building their MySpace page is Steve has this laid out really really nice so he's got some pictures here on his page um, and that is from the website slide.com so you can do the same thing by just going to slide.com getting the plugin for that but here's where people get frustrated they say well Otis how do I get my font to look like this how do I get the red in here this guy's got hyperlinks he's got some bolding here he's got some yellow highlights here I mean the guy really did a really nice job on his on his website and then he even breaks it up so every little bit of his story every step of his story he breaks it up with this this red font and then he even has pictures here okay more highlights more pictures and then a video here and then how to contact him so I mean he's done a really really good job here with his with his my story marketing page and a lot of people are like man I don't know how to do that I cannot do that the answer to um, or the comment to that is yes you can you can actually do this so what I'm going to do is I'm going to share something with you and what I'm going to share with you is what we've been covering this week in the mentoring session so what we've been talking about in the mentoring session is we've been talking about using Google as a productivity tool and using some of the things within Google as a productivity tool and if you've gone to through the mentoring program this week with me you'll know exactly what I mean um, here at Google we're looking at Google Docs and what I want to do is within Google Docs we're gonna click on new and we're gonna look for a new document so we're gonna create a new document here now the new document will be very similar to how you would create a document say in Microsoft Word so what I'm going to do is I'm actually I copied that gentleman's information off his page and I pasted it in my notepad and I'm just going to copy and then I'm going to paste here so what I've done is I've basically pasted his my story marketing on this on this on this paper here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to center some of this information so I want to center this and then I want to make this right here I want to make that a hyperlink so there's a link here and I can add that here HTTP put an insert there so I've got that hyperlinked um, I'm going to remove this since I've already got that hyperlink once and um, so then I'm going to take some of this stuff this was some of the stuff that he had in large font so I'm going to put this in large font I'm going to put this in say a 14 I'm going to bold it I'm going to make it red I'm going to go through and look for another one that he's done that way and all I'm doing is I'm just going through and I'm editing using this particular tool that's very very simple for you to use we just go through and we edit this tool and you know just go through and use this so this is the last one I'm gonna do here I'm gonna bold this make this red and then he has some highlights so let's just say that the first sentence I'm gonna highlight yellow so I'll put yellow highlights on that first sentence and then of course 
I want to make this really big and I want to color it red okay so you kind of get the idea of what I'm doing here any I'm just I can add pictures to this I can add links I can do you know a ton of different things here now how do I get this on my MySpace page because remember you need to know HTML to paste all this stuff on your MySpace page well it's very simple go over here to where it says edit and then click on edit HTML and when we click on edit HTML Google Docs provides us with all the HTML coding that we need so all I gotta do all I have to do here is just highlight everything and copy and then I'll head over to my MySpace page and I'm gonna go where I can edit my page so I'm gonna edit profile once I get to edit profile let's go back here once I get to my edit profile what I will do is I will paste all this information in the about me so I paste it that I'm gonna save all changes and then I'm going to preview my profile and now you see my profile and you see all of the information here that has been added to my profile you'll see the red you see the highlight in yellow so everything is there as I put it together in the Google Docs folder so what I want you to 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 really realize is that it's not as difficult as you might first think it is um, just go into your Google Docs and type up your my story marketing profile and then do the edit edit HTML copy your HTML and then paste it into your MySpace page so that's going to end this particular training session I hope that helps and I'll see you guys um, on Thursday night at our webinar.